The first contestant to get out wins! I've made the door slightly ajar, so there's a guaranteed way out. What? What? Oh, what's that? What? Woody wants to know who's still left in the temple. It's that monstrosity who wears those ugly sweaters. For a prank, build a really shabby rocket ship out of cardboard. Give it to your enemy team. Then, as they fly towards the sun, watch them burn slowly and painfully. Check it out. <laughs> Three, two, This program was brought to you by Blocky's Funny Doings International. Bubs, I got an idea! Right before her unforgivable elimination, our mystic alliance leader Pencil gifted me her most prized possession, urging me not to open it until the stars align. I have safely guarded this treasure for many moons until- Well, let's use it! Free Smart Superman! Yay! Yay! I'm about to eat you all! Oh dear, these purple monsters be crazy. Two points for no reason. Here, buddy, I've been keeping this just for you. Six points for being a fly guy. Yeah, okay. Guys, there are no rules. What? what? Oh, what's that? What? What? Woody wants to know who's still left in the temple. It's that monstrosity who wears those ugly sweaters. Guys, they're never gonna find the other blessed totem because I already found it. All that's left in there are rocks. Please, please, don't fall off. Whoa. Fight, fight, fight! The thing I'm passionate about, and I care about it a lot, so it's worth it to me. Hey boss, what do you need today? Not too much, just some supplies for a party. Oh, I have some party supplies. Here's some. No, oh, thank you. And some more. Y yeah, thanks, that should be good. Ah, oh, you want more? Here's some more. This is weird. Oh, you want more? Here's some supplies, more, more, more. We have enough, this is good. But we don't want the party to be good. We want it to be great. Here's some more. Oh my gosh, Leafy, let's get out of here, run! Wait, let me come with you. Leafy Flower and Rusty Coin. I'm the third of our funny trio. We'll go down in history. Leave us alone. And entrance is me. Hello. Who's out there? Also, I have no respect for this forced grand entrance act you're trying to pull off. One, because I'm jealous you came up with the idea first. And two, I'll think of a second point later. So come on out, but rest assured, regardless of who it is, I will not have any sort of reaction. Hey guys, I'm back. Definitely the super spiky club to the face. <laughs> Locky, that's an awful idea. Only sadists and meat tenderizer enthusiasts would buy that. <laughs> BFDI, you said? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have free time. Wanna explain that? Four wasn't just a big fan. Four was the biggest fan. Bigger than you can possibly imagine. He'd sit and memorize BFDI episodes. He was in love with it. Still watching that BFBDFI show thing, are you? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. This is my favorite scene of this episode. Let's take some time to commemorate Blocky's elimination. No, psh, let's not do that. I, I agree, agree. Let's, let's not. not. Whatever. One day, ask people are gonna be quoting me. I'm gonna be on that show. Really? For? The world's gonna know my name. I'll be the favorite. I'll be the favorite. Once the second season finished, Four compiled all of his recordings of the episodes into a block. Creating the BFDI! And I- Hug. Sure.
When I think back on this moment, I'll forget that last part. And now, so start talking, or I can break you apart, just like that zapper. Why don't you trust me? I knew you were wasting the money. I saw it for myself. You gave Flower fifty thousand dollars for literally no reason. Well, it's too late for anything to be done now. The budget is depleted. BFB will become yet another incomplete season. Yeah, but why? What's the point of any of this? None of your business. Really? You sure about that, little speaker?